Is phone going to be potato? Let's see. It is not. Is phone actually going to work? Come on. No, phone still being potato. Show me my life with. There we go. Hey, everything's a working. I don't know why I went from Russian to Italian there, but okay. There we go. Eat my food. Alrighty. Everything looks good. I'm also going to pull up my other manager. So I can keep an eye on that too. Oh, explodey fish done exploded. So we're facing in the direction that we're supposed to go for the lost river. Now, my smart ballsy ass decided that we are going to go without ourselves. I will, however. I know I said I was going to go without Bumblebee. I'm really debating on if I should take Welcome aboard, Bumblebee with. I don't know if I should take Bumblebee with. I know that there's a big Leviathan down there. But we did install a shield upgrade, the Mach 3 pressure diver, perimeter defense systems, and a sonar. So we shall see. I will ask when more people join. What I wish I could do that would be really fun in this game is if I could put another of the alien containment tanks on top of the one that I have in there and just have a tube going through both floors of my thing. That would be cool. Alright, so that's the alien base over there. Jarvis and Polythemus over there. Welcome aboard all systems online. That's Zappies. Okay, that is cool. Alright, so... I don't... Uh... <laughs> because this Bertha here is very difficult to maneuver. Thumping against Polly. Alright. So. Yeah, we're not gonna do it. I'm gonna be Baldy. I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna leave that here. I'm gonna go. I got everything that I need. Go ahead and look for that cave entrance. Wobble me. Shouldn't be 
that hard to find it. I found it last time. Hey, Dritz, how you doing? Oxygen efficiency decreased. They're just in the process of finding the entrance to the Lost River that I noped my way out of. Hey, Electric or Mouse, how you doing? Sorry. Ah! Brain. <laughs> How is everybody? Ah. Well, you're okay at least. Yeah, I get the cold thing. Trust me. I'm sitting here with a sweater and my donut blanket. <laughs> I'm good. Um, had a wee bit of a mental breakdown today, but other than that, I'm fine. <laughs> I don't know what temperature it is where I'm at. Of course, I'm anemic, so I'm always cold. Is this a nope, this is not a cave. It is just... Someone fell with their ass cheeks and just left big indent in ground. Alright, so. Right into the danger zone. <laughs> yeah, mental breakdowns are exhausting, but I'm doing. I'm doing good. Right now, Hubby is in the process of. What is that? Wait, no, like, seriously, what is that? A hubby's in the process of cooking dinner. What are you? You are adorable, whatever you are. Oh, you're so cute. But you don't have an, okay, you don't have an eyeball, so that's kind of creepy. But you kind of look like something from a Tim Burton film. Did you just poop? Did you just poop? <laughs> Is that your poo? Damage to Did you just poo? Floor suggests. <laughs> this this why would I want to pick problem. that up? <laughs> I scared the poop out of him. <laughs> why would? Why is that an option to pick that up? You're adorable. I don't know what you are, but have you run into the bigger uh, Not yet. I know he's here, though. He's probably. We're getting close to where he's at. Um, we'll probably run into him in this episode, most likely. Uh, I am trying to head towards the Lost River. Aha! Not aha. That's just more of no. Okay. Eh! Ah, swim upward! Up, oh, there's a warper. Hello, warpy! How you doing, birdie? <laughs> yeah, that's me with sharks. Like, I have a love-hate relationship with sharks, okay? I think I'm lost, honestly, actually. Yeah, I don't think that this is the way to get in there. Uh, fudge nuggets. Um, like, growing up, I would watch a lot of shark movies, like Jaws, um, I, I am also guilty of watching Sharknado three times, but that's just because it's funny. What are you? Membrane tree. Um. Am I? I have no clue, and it is freaking dark. Okay, I think I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Why is there more poo? I 
I'm sorry, but that poo flew from the sky. What was that? the entrance. Ha ha! Yes, I did take a wrong turn to Talbert. Okay. Fair worry. Am I gonna regret coming down here without my thing? Probably. Why am I doing this to myself? I haven't the foggiest of ideas. Should I be doing this? Probably not, but I am invincible. Ha <laughs> would be adorable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of things that I say, or a lot of expressions that I make, that a lot of people say would make adorable, like, text messages, or, uh, like, one of the many things that's a big staple on this channel is for science! And I actually have a shirt that I designed myself. Okay, that's just that thing. Um, that says for science, and it's an animated version of myself with a mushroom cloud exploding behind me. Like right now, we're diving deep into this giant hole for science. Probably going to crap our pants for science. I really don't know why I'm doing this to myself. It is fun, I guess. Is that it? That's not an egg. What is that? Is that an egg? I want to know if it's an egg. That's not egg. No, that's a gel sack. Ew. I don't even want to know what that is. Is that like a synthetic balls? I don't know. <laughs> I say weird things, but I am nervous. Ooh. Hey, it felt glowy. Glowy stuff. This game freaks me out too, like, no joke, I have no clue where I'm at, no clue what I'm doing, or what are you? Oh, you're one of those electric eels things, oh, you're not that scary. She says as she swims deeper into possibly her death, a doom! And here we see the electric eel fish in its natural habitat. Yep, okay. <laughs> See, I've played a few horror games in my time. Um, I played Layers of Fear for YouTube. But, uh, other than that, I don't think I have to go down there. I think I might actually go get my sub if I can remember how to get out of here. Alright, let's go get... Polly. Yeah, like, because of my anxiety and the fact that I am. Local scans show a nearby opening, leading to a biome with extensive fossilized remains. Well, that's nice. How do I get there, Karen? You mind telling me that? I mean, I, I would love to know how to get there. Hello, Warper, how are you? You said that there's a large biome somewhere. It would be really nice if you would tell me how to get there. It's all good, Tierra. I am lost. <gasps> Wait! We found it! I didn't need to go get my sub at all! Um... But with my anxiety and stuff, I have to be careful about what type of horror games I play because I have, um, I get anxiety seizures 
if my anxiety levels raise to a certain level, then my entire body just doesn't know what to do with all the energy, and, uh, yeah, it, they're very exhausting, and sometimes dangerous depending on the situation. Yeah, um, so, like, whenever I'm playing this, if I stop and I just kind of, that's me kind of lowering my, uh, anxiety, so that way I don't have a seizure, and, like, with Layers of Fear, if you guys went and watched my playthrough, you'd notice that, uh, especially in Layers of Fear 2, my husband would take over a lot, and that was just so I didn't, uh, I didn't have a seizure. Uh, but yeah, anytime I have, or I'm getting ready to have a seizure, funny thing is, my cat, who's not trained to do it, will alert my husband. Are you kidding me? I got a message all the way- are you f I can't even check- Okay. Terrain scans indicate this biome contains unusually high concentrations of organic and fossilized remains. Yeah, um... Fossilized remains. You mean there was things bigger than the things here? I'm gonna try to see if I can build a base down here. So I can check this message. Thank you. Yeah, he is... He is my rock, that is for sure. Okay, we're just gonna build a tiny base down here. Just... So I can check a message <laughs> that Power I just stored. received. All primary systems online. Oh, catch. Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> uh, what is this? Oh yay! Jibber jabber! Not just jibber jabber, alien jibber. Ever. I thought I saw something. Does that mean I'm close to an alien base? Holy fudge nugget, what in the name of her? Her? What are you? Can I scan you? I cannot. Oh, there's your head! Oh, I'm guessing that is the ghost leviathan. Oh. Oh, everything's so pretty. It's all pretty. Ooh, what are you? Why do you look like sperm? Or some sort of parasite? What are you, river prowler? Oh, well, you're kind of cute, I guess, when you're not trying to bite my face off. You kind of look like a dog. Can I name you Sparky? I'm gonna name you Nope. That thing over there, I'm naming Nope. That is definitely a giant Nope rope. Oh, Devergar, you! I'm gonna swim right up to you because I do cannot die. So I am very confident that you're not gonna kill me. Ha! How are you? Oh, you're not that bad. How are you supposed to be scary? I mean, I guess if we're... Can I please scan you? Like, I just- I just want to scan you. Hi! Hello! Oh, you're so pretty! Oh, I give you chin scratchies. I'm scared. Hey, come back here! You need your physical checkup! <laughs> Do I enjoy rhythm games? Not really, because I am very ADD. Hey, we just scanned our first leviathan! Hoorah! Um... <laughs> Oh, skeletal hands. I can scan this. But, um, like, I've never really been that good at rhythm games, and I grew up with, like, Donkey Kong. <laughs> and stuff. But, uh, I prefer games that keep me, keep my brain focused, and rhythm games kind of don't do that. I know it sounds weird in a full sentence, but that's... yeah. 
I used to play a lot of Mario stuff too. Looks like the hammerhead and the snake combined. Right? That one's not as scary as its belly aching brethren, though. I mean, I guess if you were playing in survival, they'd all be scary, but. Where is this base? Oh yay! More screams of the damned from whatever these things are. What are you? Come here. I want to scan you. Can I please scan? Let me scan. Come back to scan. Come back to scan. Ghost ray. Ooh, spooky. I can see your internal organs. And your eyeballs are kind of freaky though. I mean, when I can see your eyeballs move in their sockets, that that's kind of, that kind of makes me uncomfortable. Where is this base at? They weren't joking. Oh, hey, look, there's more remains. Hmm. Why do I have a feeling that this would be the place to find? Another giant creature of death and destruction. I am completely lost and have no clue where I am. Okay, I'm here. Where is the base? It would be very nice to find it. <laughs> so pretty. Okay, I'm very lost. his phone to look up where the base is, but, uh, he took it with him! Well, I guess we just explored! Under the sea! Under the sea! There are freaky fish and giant monsters that wish to eat me! Want to get off this hunk of rock? Working for this company's kind of a crock. Under the sea! Under the sea. <laughs> Sorry. One thing about me is I burst into random moments of song for no reason whatsoever. Okay, well there's our Leviathan friend. He honestly looks like a giant tapeworm! I can't believe that there were Leviathans that what the that big. Like, look at this thing! He could swallow you in one bite! At least the smaller ones have to nibble at you a little bit. Bite chunks off. But that one's just like, nah, bitch! You're mine! <laughs> Ooh. Just imagine if they actually implemented something like that in the game. Instead of just, here's a skeletal remains of what you could have dealt with. Wait. No, that's not it. I thought it was something, but it was nothing. It's just more land mass. Oh look, more remains. So this is technically a graveyard. You know what this reminds me of? And I'm pretty sure it reminds Tierra of the same thing. It's not funny, Ed. <laughs> okay, I think we're in the right direction now. It does, though! It reminds me of Scar's lair from The Lion King, with the colors and the little smoke fumes. What is that? No, wait. What is that? Please be dead. Oh, please be something dead. Don't be alive. Please be dead. Just, just please. Are you dead? Are you dead? Are you dead? If I swim up too, you're not gonna jump scare me, are you? I am suddenly turning into- 
I think he's very much dead. Oh, it's just a skeleton! <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, for a moment there, buddy, I thought you were alive. <laughs> ah. Oh, goodness. <laughs> well, at least you're dead. Yeah, that's a sea dragon. Ha! Huh. Okay. Okay, okay then. I, I don't know why they have you displayed so lovingly. I guess they worshipped you? Maybe? Were you like their king or something? Their god? Their savior? I feel like I should not be going this way though. I, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's just seaweed. <laughs> Everything is making me jumpy! I don't know where I am. I don't know how to get out of here. I don't even know where to go. Okay, well that's more... There's a big old hunk of quartz. I don't need quartz, I'm looking for a ding dang freaking base! Cute Jaws theme. Yeah, right? Okay, we're gonna follow these poles. Maybe these poles will take us to the containment unit. This does not look good. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This was supposed to hold. This alien structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I appreciate your input on the subject. Warper, do not- Detecting an alien broadcast. Linguistic analysis reads, caution, hazardous materials and life forms contained within. Well, you know what, Karen? I've never been one to really listen to caution. That sounded scary. The warper isn't really that bad. Unless you're not in creative mode. So how in the flippity dippity doo da do I get in here? How do I get in there? Tell me your secrets! Oh wait. There it is! Found the entryway! Oh no. Oh no. I have a bad feeling about this. Are substantially reinforced. My character just talked! Were seeking either to keep no wait, that was that. HA! You got me, Dritz. Whatever I thought my character talked. I was like, he's never talked before. No, that's my notification that I forgot about. <laughs> I feel stupid. <laughs> oh. I sometimes forget that I uh, implemented those into the stream. <laughs> I got all excited. I'm like, my character spoke. Oh, nope. It's just, uh. It's just a notification. <laughs> oh, boy. Let me in. Thank you. Download data. Integrating new PDA data. Alright. Specimens. Leviathan embryos. Oh, Okay, so you stole their eggs, and anybody who's watched Jurassic Park knows what happens when you take the eggs of a dinosaur. They don't like it, and they hunt you down. Large carnivore, Theta. Off-site lab established studies remain show immunity to the infection. Unidentified Leviathan, the Leviathan species has been assigned designator C emperor bone samples. Uh. 
Okay, so I guess it's safe to say that these higher species, these intelligent life that was supposedly out here, was a bit dumb. I mean, who looks at a giant predatory ocean creature's eggs and goes, oh, I want those. I want to hold those. I want to have those. I want the baby. Speaking of baby, here's egg. Oh, sea dragon egg. Oh, how lovely. Such a... I feel sorry for the sea dragon that had to poop that out, though. I mean, jeez. Ouch. Just ouch. Gray specimens. Hey, bones. And my bones. Rib cage samples. Boom. Uh, please? Okay, um... Well, they're not human. So I guess that's safe to say that they didn't do anything bad to do. Uh. Hello, deep poop fish of weirdness. Can I, uh, can I just grab you? Can I just, I just, I want to beard mine now. What is that sound? I hear a skeeter. <gasps> what the fuck are you? Uh, Riz, I found the great turbo fish! Uh, Jar Jar not want to go there. Jar Jar go this way. <laughs> Download damage report! Very much wrecked! Oh, I can swim in here. Doth I want to swim in here with what looks like a giant millipede? It looks like a weird, weird... See, this is what always freaks me out about some fish. They have finger bones. Scanning. Ooh, okay. So, there's nothing to say about that fish. Just... Nom. <laughs> oh crap, I'm stuck. Bones. Okay. So, apparently, aliens liked to study this fish. Residual biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. Yeah, I can. Uh, <coughs> I can see that. Typical aliens have to dissect things. Warper parts. Okay. Oh god, they just ripped out all of his internal how the <laughs> Oh fuck. Data pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self scan is strongly advised. Okay. Self scan complete. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. I would love to. Oh, bro, D. Oh, yeah, this game is very visually appealing. Like, for someone who hates the ocean. With a passion like no other, this game is very pretty. But I would not have made it this far had I been in... Uh... Any other mode besides creative. <laughs> I tried survival no mode and my anxiety went, Nope, you shall not pass. Okay, so that's that. I don't really know where else to go, I guess. 
up. I mean, let's just kind of dive down a little bit and look around a little bit more, see if there's anything else to scan, anything else to look at. All right, so now we need to find Discovery first encountered during routine network expansion on outer worlds. Pandemic developed. Network air resulted in routine quarantine procedure. Failure. Contagion was uploaded to and spread quickly through the core worlds. Confirmed deaths over 143 billion individuals. Uh, bacterial mechanisms attached to healthy living cells and mutates the basic genetic structure. Gradual immune system failure. Stage 2. Green skin liaisons and flu-like symptom lesions. Sorry. Flu-like symptoms. Unpredictable alterations to biological structure. Complete shutdown of extensive functions. Core world's quarantine. Bacterial samples distributed for vaccine to be developed. Okay. Enforcement platform schematics. That's the big gun upstairs. Leviathan detected at facility perimeter, closing at high speeds. Exterior anchor cable impacted with massive force. Exterior anchor anchor system buckling, facility sinking. Conclude collision with the sea floor. Breaches detected in containment level seven. Leviathan eggs immediately. Specimens destructed. Protocol initiated. 100 or 314 specimens destroyed, one specimen unaccounted for, evacuating staff to off-site sanctuaries, plenty of plan planetary quarantine protocol initiated, warning, infected individuals may not leave the planet. Alien data terminal. Alright, so, codes and clues. <coughs> power facility and then the sanctuaries are all unknown so I guess we just keep exploring down here until we come across what we need to be at because I know you can get to the inactive lava zone through the lost river um, do I know how to get there no <laughs> should I probably should I have looked it up before I started my stream Probably. Am I always prepared? No, it just adds to the chaos. Speaking of which, I want my cotton candy, but it's all the way in the kitchen. Alright, so... That means that there's a giant hole up there that we probably scoops. Um... Ba -ba -da -da -da. So does that mean that the Leviathan followed this thing down here, or was it just like, Nyeh! I'm done. <laughs> it had its temper tantrum. And it left. Oh, the rays are the ones making those obnoxious sounds. Okay, so... Pull out my... thing here. And see about finding... The inactive lava zone. Also, I now have the song Be Prepared locked in my brain. Thank you for that, Lost River. You reminded me of a Disney movie I quite enjoyed as a child and still enjoy today. With catchy songs. Can I go after the old Well, me thinks we went in a circle. <coughs> oh no, there's just another one of you down here. Okay. So, I... Was that you? Is that the sound that you make? Just You sound like R2-D2. Haha! -ha, here is Lava Zone. We have found... Where Darth Vader was born. Excuse me, what are you? 
Are you a bone shark? You don't look like bone shark. What are you? A creature from the Black Lagoon? No, you're a ray. Excuse me, can I scan? Can I scan, please? Let me scan. Crimson ray. Please don't warp me. I would prefer it not to happen. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so... I feel like we're swimming slower for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, so we're now in the inactive lava zone. That seems very, very active. I had your powers so I could warp myself to the surface. That would be so much nicer. Look at that fancy chunk of rock. Oh, the crimson rays are. Oop, that one just blew itself out of existence. Okay. Oh, there it goes again. Hi! Welcome back. Did you enjoy the fourth dimension? So something tells me... Okay! Hello! How are you? Are you good? Oh, I sure hope you are because they are terrifying! It's like, excuse me, what? So they both abandoned you on the seafloor. Did you kill yourself? Thank you for letting me scan you. Detecting alien materials and a massive energy signature. Reading originates within the natural structure at the center of this chamber. Oh, you're so appreciated for your Captain Obvious lectures, sweetheart. I appreciate it so much, Karen. So are you telling me that I have to swim through here? Yeah, there would be no way in Hades I would be able to get over here. With my sub! More like Godzilla. The volcanic rock which has formed in this area can be carbon dated to between 800 and 3,000 yeah. Earth years ago. Oh, friend, I am so sorry that you have an upset tummy, but eating lava will do that to ya. Okay? That's why we don't eat lava. Yeah, I can see it. Oh, it is very hot, hot, hot. What 
Aha! Here's the structure we were looking for. Okay. Especially with the roar. Yeah, I can see it. It, it is just very, very scary. <laughs> And then there's the matter of finding a way out of here, which I know that there are warp gates. Oh, I'm on solid land. I am on ground. I have my... But what are you? Excuse me, what the f... Oh, you're a robot. Oh, you're cute. Look at the adorable little Robocrab. Oh, it's an adorable little Robocrab. Okay, I don't really need this out right now. Everything is just lighting up. Alright. So apparently they expect you to bring your prawn suit over here. Insert cube. <gasps> ah! I opened the Stargate! I am a nerd! I am a happy nerd! <laughs> <laughs> we will go there here in a minute. I know. Everybody who has seen Stargate or has watched Stargate. Wasn't there a Stargate Atlantis though? Is this a thing? Is this a thing that's gonna save me? No, it's not. It's just a key. And I'll take the blue key. Because why not? But I think there was a Stargate Atlantis. If I remember correctly. So I didn't really get to watch all of them. Okay, so that's just another way out. I don't know where this gate is gonna take me. I'm gonna look around a little more, and then we will go through the gate. <coughs> oh, there's so many cute little robot spider things. <laughs> Google to the rescue, Tiara! <laughs> Location updated. Volcanic cube. area connected to this cave system at depth 1.4 kilometers. Mm. <clears throat> Interesting. Oh, I just noticed that the pathway lights up when I walk on it. Integrating new PDA data. So we just synthesizing ion. Power blueprints from alien data. Blueprints stored to data bank. Interesting. Okay. Alright, well, off to the warp tunnel gate thing. Stargate. I'm just gonna call it the Stargate because if it looks like a duck. Quacks like a duck. Is a duck. Hi there, Michael! Hi there, baby boy! Come here! Come here! You're gonna make me come get you, aren't you? Oh, yes you are. Ah! Leg pain numb. Come here. Come on. Ugh. Get your fat, fluffy tookus over here and say hi. <laughs> uh, this is my big baby. Inky Michael, my baby. Can I say mama's up? Nope. Okay. Well, screw you too then. 
Don't look at me like that. I can call you fat because you are fat. You're a chunky boy. Now everybody knows it. <laughs> oh, you're gonna go hide under your desk. Oh, nope. There's still catnip under there. Okay, I see what you're doing, buddy. Alright, you go enjoy your cat drugs. <laughs> Alright, so let's go. For science! Woo! I'm being teleported. Are we gonna be teleported to the nether? Is this gonna teleport us to the nether? No, we're entering the matrix! So many nerdy references! <laughs> uh, okay, do I just... Did I break it? As much as I like the pretty lights, could I, uh... save because that was scary oh wait wait don't tell me I'm back here ah shoot dang it I am well that's a sack of potatoes Yeah, I'm back at my... Yep, I'm back at the gun. Okay, well I activated a warp tunnel at least, so now I can get back into the uh, deep river easier, I guess. That's nice, we got another message. Lucky for me, I have a base just up here with a radio in it. Buzz buzz. Come on, buzz buzz buzz. Alright, so... I need to remember how to get out of here. I need to go... doing I'm just gonna call you chaos because that is the only thing that I can read from your username I'm sorry <laughs> I'm good uh, ran into the potato, sea potato, potato, <laughs> potato, 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 potato. <laughs> Nice way to enter the chat. Just immediate potato. Alright, now we're going the right way. Haha! -ha. Right? Now, if only we could get a sound bite that simply said, Exploding potato engaged! Or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to the pack, where everything is cotton candy and chaos. Unfortunately, you have to provide your own cotton candy. <laughs> that would be cool, actually. Alright, is that the way out? I believe this is the way out. The structure is so ridiculously huge. I really wish that there was, like, not to sound morbid or anything. But I really wish that there was one of these precursor alien critters still here. Yes, explode your potato. Engage. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> yes, explode <a> potato. <laughs> I freak people out at this at the uh like at Walmart and Meyer because <laughs> if Jordan takes me into the produce section I will immediately walk over to the potatoes and just go potato <laughs> I made this one lady she looked like she was having a really bad day so I went up to her because she was looking at the potatoes I'm like are you buying potatoes and she's like, what? It's like, are you buying potatoes? She's like, Welcome yes, I'm captain. buying potatoes. Okay, make sure they're not exploding potatoes. And she just... <laughs> um, so, the potato thing started back when uh, my husband and I were playing Call of Duty. I believe it was Ghost. And I threw- no, it was MW3. And I threw- or I set up a bunch of the, um, C4s and Claymores around a singular area. My husband came running around the corner with one of the juggernauts, looked around and said, this What did you do? I said, I planted potatoes. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. Another life pod. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Ooh, another life button. Signal so the potato thing is kind of... Well, it has literally become a thing... in my life. All because of one goofy thing <laughs> that I've said. Another hilarious thing that I said was during Fallout 4. And it was my first encounter with a glowing ghoul. And I just so happened to decide that it would be a good idea to go into an area with only ten bullets to my name. And I ran into the glowing ghoul, hid inside of one of the bathrooms in the uh, Passing 100 meters. place that I was Oxygen in. Efficiency and at the top of my lungs screamed, I don't want to die on the pot. Did I just see something? Or is that just my imagination? Oh. I swear, I keep seeing things in the darkness. Passing 200 meters. Hey. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. I don't care. Karen, at all, honestly. My oxygen can be completely decreased for all I care. I am invincible and nothing can kill me! Spade shake. Ooh, I can't see shit. Woo! I'm gonna stay close to the side though, because it is dark. Into the inky dubis. Dubis. Yes, the inky dubis. Inky abyss. Wow, English no work good today. <laughs> I think I have found the ocean. It is so dark. I stared into the abyss and it stared back. I don't remember the entire quote. Are you a ting? Are you just a shark? What are you? Okay, you're just a shark with a glowing eyeball. Okay, that's crazy. And more sharks. More screaming whales of the damned. That's lovely. Oh, I love this so much. Run, you two. I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you. I will find you. This joke is funny because that is their name. I am you. Uh, what? Wait, what? Did I? Did I take a wrong turn somewhere? Is there a cave I'm supposed to go? I'm in danger. Ha! Funny, but no. I am not in danger. I cannot die. I am just very lost. No. 
Alright, I'm wondering if I have to go through one of these caves. This is not a cave, this is just a cave nostril. Okay, how in the hey do I get there? Mort! Tell me how to get there, Mort! I must know. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to? Good scare the Rejuvenator. With my anxiety seizures, yes, probably. Beastie, did you just say move it? <laughs> Mort, shut up, you're so annoying. Okay, I do not know how to get to you. Again, it is funny because it's funny. Alright, let me look and see. Um Excuse me. Oh hi! Oh you're getting a snack. I hope it was yummy because it wasn't me! Did I go the wrong way? Oh, you! You are down there! Okay, I was going a wrong way to find you. So you fell into ocean floor. And then tried to make break for it by swimming. While bleeding. You don't know if you put blood in water, shark come. Right? Come as in come eat, not as in other thing. Get your heads out of gutter. Hi, Warper. How are you doing, friend? Are you doing good? I hope so. Oh, here's the life pod. The life pod that doesn't work. Alright, what's he say? Abandoned PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. It's working. Would you stop pip poofing everywhere? Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. Okay. So, is that it? Is that literally my only reason for coming all the way down here? I do like how the music changed. It's not spooky anymore. Okay, so now what? If I had Beastie's phone, I could look up where the other locations are! Hint, hint! Actually, I'm not as, I'm not as scared of this game as I was. What are you? You are a... Eyeball pancake with legs for days. Okay, so this just looks like this is another entrance into the Lost River. There's another pancake. And there's some crystals. Yeah, this is just another way to get into the Lost River. I don't really know where any of the other... There's another Leviathan. So there's multiple of those. I mean, there's multiple of the other ones too, but... Alright, I... <sighs> Babe! Can I have your phone? I need to look up where to go next because 
I do not know. <laughs> Always chaotic. Never going in with a plan. What the? What? I, I think this this thing here might be broken. How's things going, babe? really a question? You're giving me chicken. Of course I want ranch to go with it. <laughs> Excuse me, is that the sound you're making? Oh look, there's another pack. Hi! Hello, friend. You look kind of cranky. Honestly, his face looks cranky. Anyway, here's another skeletal remain scan. Let's just pull out the thing here. I will find this scan. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit right here and quickly look up. Oh, so many fun noises in both my ear holes. That's so fun. Leviathan just spoke. That sounded like the Leviathan spoke. the northern blood kelp zone. So I'm gonna go ahead and swim back up. Yeah, that's what I heard too. alien fish, that's all I know. Alright, so... Where would the northern blood kelp zone be? Okay, so we need to go out of this cave, which I believe is this direction. I think this is the way that we came here. <coughs> Yeah, 
not sure if this would be considered the northern blood kelp zone or not. I'm just guessing. Maybe. Did the music just dramatically change again? I don't think this is so. Let's, uh. I mean, this is north. So this might be it. See, this is what I was talking about. You can't really see it all that well when... And that's what killed me the one time that I was playing this in survival and tried to go beyond the barrier. Because that just insta-kills you. Okay, so we need to go back to where we found LifePod 19, which we can queue up here, actually. So we can turn that on so we can see where that's at. That's all the way over there. So let's go ahead and swim towards that. Um... Stop moving your electric... Okay, so you do 360. Oh, you're so pretty. Thank you for dancing like one of those French girls. I appreciate it. Very beautiful. And I have no money to pay you. Come oh, on. Uh... I think you're a little bit uh, bigger than the other ones that I've uh, come across. I think. Maybe. Excuse you, good sir, but did you just burp? What was that? Oh, I don't like this at all. What the fuck was that? Someone sounds like they're having a bad day. Oh, hey, Bessie. Yay, food! Oh! <laughs> He brought me my ranch dressing in a wine glass. <laughs> There's the secret ingredient right there. Uh huh. Yeah, ranch dressing is the secret ingredient. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't believe you brought it to me in a wine glass. Drink up, baby. <laughs> oh gosh, I haven't eaten dinner yet, guys. So. Right? It works. It's a fancy dinner. Why do the tops of these kelp look like buttholes? I mean, it's a legitimate question. Like, look, it looks like a butthole.
Alright, so we need to go this way. Where did I? Oh. I put my map out of reach. Oh, there goes another warper. Screaming in the distance! Did you literally just bring a whole tray of chicken into the bedroom? Barbecue! Oh, barbecue chicken. Uh -huh. Aren't you special? With extra barbecue! Oh, extra barbecue. It's extra special! Oh, okay, just like you. <laughs> uh, am I in a cave? I don't think I'm in a cave. I can't be in a cave. I can make those jokes. I didn't swim into a cave. Well, Did I? You're in one now. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just uh, stuck on the outskirts. But... <laughs> what are you? Why do you have a bulbous beanbag head? Maybe it's a speaker. Come here, let me scan you. What are you? Crab squid. Crab squid. Squidward. Squidward. Hey, Squidward. Hey, <laughs> Tira, he's extra special, all right. <laughs> Tira even agrees that you're extra special, baby. <laughs> Teach me how work because she knows it. <laughs> yeah, she has to put up with you all day. <laughs> oh, no, I can't do this. Hi! Is that a reason why you're following me, good sir? So wait, if that's a crab squid, does that mean Mr. Krabs and Squidward got together and had a baby? Maybe his mother. Squidward knocking on Mom and Krabby's uh, super popular. Blech. <laughs> So, I'm honestly trying to find my way back to some form of safety. Ah, here's another one of those alien pets. Filters oxygen into the water. Oh, I can scan you now. Earlier, I couldn't scan you. But now you're allowing me to. Meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Open water. I don't want to swim out into open water. It's dangerous. A little baby clownfish can do it so can you. Oh, look. There's the floor. A little baby clownfish can do it so can you. Hey, the only reason why Nemo swam out into open water was because there was something in it for him. He wanted to touch the butt. <laughs> If there be no booty, there be no need for me to swim out into open water without something beneath my tootsies. It's every man's destiny to touch the butt. <laughs> it's every man's desire to touch the butt. It's just some men need to keep their hands to themselves. No, they need to keep their hands away from themselves. <laughs> hey, stand the <laughs> You're grounded from talking, please. Oh, okay. I just realized I had a freaking cotton candy bag sitting here this entire time. And I haven't opened it yet.
get your own cotton candy, good sir. Alright, let's break out the sea glide. Now that I'm in familiar territory. Hey, Frank! Oh, it smells like brown sugar. like brown sugar. I'm like, I'm smelling brown sugar. <laughs> oh look, here's a giant wreckage. So I do believe that this is not a piece of the Aurora. I mean, I think it is actually. What goes? Mountain Dew. <sighs> For, to you, Mountain Dew goes good with anything. It goes especially good with Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Thank you, Karen. I feel sorry for men who have never had one. I feel sorry for the people who have never had one, too. No, no. Oh, it's a trench! Barbecue, you can't get just anywhere. Mm. Look, we found a drop off. Drop off? Why don't I just serve them up with those fries now? Right, fish and chips. Of references are always gonna pop up in games about the ocean. Passing 200 meters, oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Okay, so supposedly this should be the right area for. Yes, they will. Okay, the Sparse Reef Sanctuary. So it should be around here, I believe, because I believe that giant... Alright, so there's another thing. So let's look out for... Alien structures. It's a pretty place. Oof, I'm getting some lag here. I don't think that this is where it's supposed to go. I think what they should have done with this game is that they should have um, so there's that life mod so there should be a crater somewhere they should have made it to where when you enter a new zone in the game it would like light up or say hey you've entered such and such a zone because it would probably have been more helpful to the people who are playing I 
thought it was something interesting. No, it's just right here. Okay, so there's a lot of scrap pieces. Alright, <laughs> good night, Tira. Good night, Ken. Have we lost 200 meters? I could have sworn that we've been in here already. Greatly decreased. Where's my phone? On my knee. Do you need it? I'm still using it. No, okay. I'm gonna be, uh... Turning a pad here in a minute. Oh, they're all well. Okay. It's time for me to take my bed. I don't know if I did it. <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised, but hey, even if it doesn't, it disables the pre roll ads. Mm -hmm. For like a short period of time. <sighs> That's either instant serotonin for somebody or high annoyance for somebody. <laughs> If I'm the one doing it, it just makes me happy. <laughs> you're not the one doing it? If I'm not the one doing it, then... Well, you're not doing it right, donkey. No, we're not there yet. Okay, are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No! Yes. Really? No. Oh. Okay, we're there yet. Are we there yet? Inventory full. Not full lucky. Alright, um. So it said deep within a cave within the northern blood kelp zone. And I believe if we just pop over here. The northern blood kelp zone entrance is in here. This looks like where a crater would be. Where a meteor would have impacted. Impacted it. Impacted it. Did. And then, I believe, as soon as we get in here and we turn that way, that will be the northern blood kelp zone deep within a cave. So the next sanctuary should be within here somewhere. So let's just keep a lookout for some alien structures. had a visit from our ghostly alien friend that likes to pop up in front of our eyeballs. Ghostly knife is 
right? I'm pretty sure some of them have. Not from the scene where the baby is sleeping on you. Yes. Is that alien sign? Yes. That tells me that the creators like to make them. Talk and the first thing you say is boobish. I just stumbled right across it. This time it's like, oh, you want to find the alien hideaway? Oh, you're actually looking for it. Oh, no, we can't have that. uses gravity to pull things in. River. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Death. Did I find the <coughs> alien sanctuary? It does seem like that. I also found Bulba's head crab. Skeleton. Ancient bones. A large creature. Very large. Looks like the critter from, uh, uh, what was it called? Fudge Nuggets! No. The Fudge Nugget is um, what called. The Fudge Nuggets calls. Nausicaa in the Valley of the Wind. Huh? Nausicaa and the Valley of the Wind. It's a Studio Ghibli film, and that thing looks like one of the critters from <clears> that movie. 
And of course, Tierra's gone, so she can't appreciate my nerdiness. I have orange, damn it. I will. I'm gonna take a bite. Uh -oh. I'm hungry. My stomach has been sitting here growling. Bone specimen! Looks like one of the giant's gloves from Skyrim. Mixed Leviathan fossils? Flora? God, you're cute. I don't know what you are, but you are cute. He's stolen. Yes. Integrating new PDA data. I'll take you. And I'll take a. Okay, well that is everything from here. I now have a creature egg. Hey. Hmm. The adventures, go inside the bones. I'm not gonna go inside the bones. No reason to go inside the bones. There's no reason to go inside the bones. Do it, do it, do it, do it. it. There's stuff inside there. Go in. Oh my god. There's no reason to go yes, inside the bones. Do it. Look. Farther. There, I'm in the belly of the beast. Are you happy? Boo. You're not gonna want that venturing in there? I already did! Two inches. Ooh. <sighs> mm-hmm. That's what most that's what she said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's not very regular, is she? Oh. <sighs> Alright, let's Trying to. So it seems like all of the sanctuaries should be here. In this location. Okay. Just found. It's not this one. Right, so they shall be in this general area. If I don't find them all in this stream, we'll find the others in the next one. I thought that was something stuck in the wall, but no, it's a root. 
Oh wow. <laughs> like one of the areas that was in the photos. Structures. Detecting a titanium mass somewhere in this area. Oh, yep, Unable there. to confirm whether it originated on the Aurora. So there's a titanium mass somewhere in here. There it is. So this is another one of the Degasi sea bases, I'm guessing. And that's what it looks like to me. and listen. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, then. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials, equipment, just... Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. They were infected with the virus, too. If the other alien structure is around here. All of the lore before I, you know, finish the game. Just because I'm interested in story. Disabling my flashlight. Yeah, All right, I have no clue where I am. <laughs> or even if I'm in the right spot. Let's see. Yeah, this is not the right location. 
so we need to go back. Let's go back to where we were. If I can remember how to get there. It's always a mild inconvenience to not know where to go. We need to find the blood kelp zone again and figure out from there where to go. I think we may have passed one of the places on the way in here. Because one of the locations looks like it may be around here somewhere. Now where, I don't know exactly, but we'll figure that out. To, I will look up a video later. And hopefully we can figure it out from that. But I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna find the other ones today or not. You scared me! <sighs> Alright, so one of them, I believe, is around this location. I think we may have missed it on our way down. Because this looks like it might have one somewhere. Okay. 
Okay, so this one should be around here somewhere. It says through the crater zone. find a needle in a haystack. <laughs> I can't do an Irish or Scottish voice. So. Alright. Uh, let's see. I'm very lost. Yes, indeed, you do. I am lost. I'm feeling something. I said you had to pray for the fucker. <laughs> oh, it's not bravery? What is it? Family, friends. The fact that I'm too stubborn to give up. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say kind of candy. There was no promise of that. Promises are cotton candy bitches. One bag. One bag. It's almost time for me to end the stream. It's okay. You are all good. Okay. Okay. I am very lost right now. Though. My head is very ugly. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> PC, you're a hard worker, so we don't expect your hands to be prim and proper. I need to use um bushel. Uh, better out than in. <laughs> better out than in. Yeah, no, no, no one did that. Uh, ex, expose me. Ex excuse. Oh, there's no excuse for me. <laughs> there has never been an excuse for you. 
Ja, det er så sat for at komme der. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna head back to my base. We will come back here, though. I mean, I'm gonna put a. Uh, egg and put it in my base. strange individual beastie. So, we'll have to wait and see what this creature is. I mean, we can kind of see what he is through his uh, egg sack. Alright, let's take a look over here. Take it in here and plop it into my containment unit. Uh, why does everybody look like they've been busy? Alright, let's go ahead and drop the egg. And drop the spine fish too. Oh my god, he's moving around. He's probably gonna hatch soon. Oh, thank you, mouse. Appreciate it. I don't know when he's gonna hatch, but he's adorable. He needs a name. Bluebird. Should we name him? He Bluebird. needs a name. Bluebird. Blue. Bluebird. Bluebird. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I think he's teal. Teal Bert. Teal Bert. Teal Bert. How much is Bert? Bert. His name is Bert. Bert. Bert the bubble blowing baby fish. That's my It's also a tongue twister. <laughs> he's so cute. Look at him. I hope he hatches soon. I really want to get to know him. <laughs> He's too cute to be a killer. He's a killer. He's a born killer. All of my fish don't know what to do with themselves. All right. Uh, what do I want to do? Hey. What? All fish are judgmental. We all know that, baby. They're looking at you and they're like, well, what are you going to do, human? Stop staring at me. Okay. <laughs> Just stop staring at me. Oh, yeah, I now have two of these. <laughs> what are they? Non-functional microscopes. Why the hell do you have them? I, I don't know. You give me something I can pick up and collect in game, I kind of afford it. Why? 
Because he's fun. And There's a random doohickey. There's nothing you can do with it. And then it's just a random thing. Hey, buddy! You gonna hatch soon? Really awesome if you hatched before the stream ended. Can't believe that you were left all alone in the cave back there, poor baby. He's too cute! I'm gonna feel bad that we probably have to leave him here. I'm gonna get attached to him like I did to Pete. My little pumpkin friend who's still in space somewhere. <laughs> Pete. Right, Tacoma. <laughs> I love how you just look off in the distance and it says deep hole. <laughs> Like, where are you going? To the deep hole. <laughs> deep hole. Did you say deep hole? Depot or deep hole? Deep hole. Just like whenever I say mandibles. Somebody thought I said man nipples. I'm like, no! <laughs> <laughs> mandibles, the little chumpy chumpy things on the side of bugs' faces. <laughs> deep holes, that's why. Of course you do. BC, don't make me ground you from talking again. <laughs> I just be myself. I don't know how long it's gonna take for Bert to hatch. We have three spade fish in there. We come back. We come back. All your fish are gone. Meh. At least he ate. <laughs> Let's see if sleeping speeds up the process at all. Let's go ahead and sleep. How long has it been since you actually kicked our slept? I don't know. Several days? <laughs> they have the caffeine patch. <laughs> they can stay awake for days with no side effects. <laughs> Alright. Did that do anything? Have you hatched yet, Bet? Bet! You have not. You look like you're getting ready to, though. <gasps> He's gonna hatch! Only the caffeine patch did that. I get so much. <laughs> right? Bert's trying! I think if we sleep one more time, he should hatch. Hold on, Bert! I'm coming to the rescue! <laughs> Aw. You're not tired enough yet to sleep. Well, screw you. You don't know my life. <laughs> Just give her a couple of kids and she'll be ready for that time. Right? Time. How am I not tired enough yet to sleep? I haven't slept for days. For real? <laughs> I imagine the crash would be awful. Probably. I mean, I would not be surprised. She probably floated out in the, in the ocean. She probably floated out in the ocean like this. Just sleep. Tire myself out. Okay, can I go sleep now? I go sleep now. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Can I sleep now? I went out and swam for a bit. I have to be tired now. Nope, I am not. I am very well rested. <laughs> He's trying so hard. Bert, buddy, you can do it. Come on, little friend! <laughs> the impatience is... <laughs> right? <laughs> Why don't you go in there? Please chill here. Just go stand in the tank. Go, Hatch! Go, go, Bert! <laughs> you think I do? Bert, Bert, he's our fish! He can do it. Well, there's nowhere we're gonna help him. He has to do it himself anyways. <laughs> Come on, buddy! <laughs> he's so cute. Try and look at him. <laughs> Trying so hard. Are you gonna cry? <laughs> no, you're crying. <laughs> I'm not crying. Give up, buddy. You can do it. You got this. I believe in you. <laughs> He's like, Danger. 
Don't give me that sideways glance, Nancy. I don't appreciate that look from you. Would you? Look at her. She's such a sassy fish. Nancy, can't you see Bert is trying to hatch? Could you give him some space? Why do you look freaky? I did not realize how freaky you look. Hi, Gary! Mwah! Kisses! Bert! I end the stream at 9 o'clock. It is 8.55. I don't think you're going to hatch before I have to end the stream. Bert! I don't think he's gonna hatch before I have to end the stream. That makes me sad, but it also makes me excited because then we can all come back and see him tomorrow. <laughs> you can do it! Still not tired? Seriously? not tired like what there's another message play partially translated broadcast to come back tomorrow to see him hatch. I don't care if I'm all the way down in the deepest part of the flip dipping ocean. I will come up here to see him. Organic substance to different plants found in the Earth's natural breeding ground designated to trigger a hatching response. So I'm wondering if we might need this when we run into the uh, the alien that keeps talking to us. All right, Bert, I'm gonna save here and we'll come back and see you tomorrow, buddy. Looks like he's about to come out. He's been looking like that for a bit now. He looks so almost there. He looks so ready. Thank you for stopping in, Mouse. everybody i've got like one couple minutes till i have to end the stream so i just want to say good night everybody rest well stay safe stay healthy when we come back tomorrow we will hopefully witness the hatching of bert bert <laughs> and uh also i will look up some videos on where the other alien caches are as well as where to find this alien creature that's talking to us so we can get the cure and hopefully within the next few streams we can finish this game up um you mind. can i am streaming the xbox to my laptop and you can also download the twitch app and stream from the xbox directly to twitch um i'm just using my laptop for now, because I haven't done it yet, so I don't know how the graphics are. Uh, next, well, this Saturday, I'm going to be doing a special stream where I'm going to be doing Minecraft builds and uh, using my followers' names to kind of inspire the builds. And we're also going to vote on what next week's game is going to be. Um... Y'all can pick Assassin's Creed. <laughs> you want them to pick Assassin's Creed. I will have 
the list of games put up on like a poll or something, I think I can do that here on a Twitch. You can also pick um But um anyways Thank you all so much for coming in and joining me on this journey. It's been very exciting. I'm excited to see what the next stream holds. Um, I'm not playing Far Cry. That's your game, BC. I know. <laughs> Thanks for the Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!